If you run Facebook ads, it can be quite scary when you get an alert from Facebook that you've done something wrong because we know what they're like, right? They can very quickly shut down an ad account without um, even telling us. So when we do get a notification from them that we have violated a policy, it can be quite alarming. And one that is getting a lot of people who are running ads is the policy violation for personally identifiable information, PII. It's where data is not hashed, where it's going from a site over to Facebook. So say for example, someone has opted in for your website and then they go to the thank you page and that data is in the URL. It's getting passed over as people go to that thank you page and you can read the first name, the last name and the email. This is violating uh, Facebook and Google's policy uh, for making sure that data is hashed and people's privacy is kept intact. So how do we fix this? Well, it depends on the platform that you're using. Some are super simple and easy to fix. Others may not have that integration in. Well, I'm going to show you today how you can easily fix this with Calendly once you know where to look. Now, I'm going to show you the whole process here of like the information that I've got through from Facebook so that you can understand what I'm talking about and if it lines up with the problem that you're currently having. So over here, I've got an email from Facebook for potentially violating personal data. This was something new that came up. So I knew it was coming from, I uh, knew exactly where it was coming from rather, because it had only started happening in the last couple of days. So I got the email and you can click and go to events manager. When you go over to events manager, you're going to see something like this. This is what's happening. So this is, I've got two pixels. I've got two pixels on the site because I have an insurance policy. And so both of them are firing this issue because they're both on the site. So this is saying review potentially violating personal data. Now, when we click down here, it says the um, potential violations and it's a URL query parameter and it's saying invitee last name. Okay, so I can click here then and go to URLs and say so that's showing me where it is and it's exactly what I expected. It's with um, Calendly as people are submitting the form it's getting added into the um, URL. Not only the person who submitted the form, but also the person who owns the calendar. So I'm going to show you what that looks like. So here, this is how it's set up initially. This is how it defaulted to um, run, okay? So I'm going to Calendly, I'm going to select a time and confirm. Jody. And okay, and now I'm going to schedule the event. Now, as you will see here, I have it redirecting to go to my own thank you page, and that's where I've got the Facebook pixels installed so I can do the tracking. But as you will see here in the URL, it's got my name because it was my calendar. Then as we keep going across here with the URL, we'll see that it's also got the name and the email of the person who has signed up, which was me in this case. Okay, so it's my name here, my last name, and then it's also got the email that I put in. So that's not hashed data, so that's not compliant. So that we don't keep getting these policy violations from Facebook, we need to make sure that we get things compliant. So how do we do that with Calendly? Well, here we go. You will go into the event. So here we are, this is the event for that page. I go down here to confirmation page and here where it says pass event details to your redirected page, we're going to uncheck that box. We're going to say save and close. Now, let's do it again. So let's make that booking. Going to the 15th, 11.40, confirm, Jody.
and schedule event. Now watch what happens. It gets redirected again to the page. So there it is. As you can see, we don't have any personal identifying information that is going across. So we are not uh, causing any issues with Facebook and that policy violation signs that we were having. We've still got the Facebook pixel installed here. So we're still capturing the events, but we just don't have this um, unhashed data going across, which is the problem. So there you go. Once you know where to look, you can it's super easy um, get compliant there with Facebook by unchecking that box. Thank you.